All right. Blessings of the Lord be upon you and your house. Blessings of the Lord be upon you. Let me send a shout of blessings to each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. Blessings, 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 blessings. Sending a shout of blessings to you. Send a shout of blessings to you and your house. Please invite your friends and loved ones. Um, hello, OP. Hello, Canada. We send a shout of blessings to you, Canada. We trust all is well with you and your house. Please share the broadcast. Be a blessing to somebody as always. You know how we do it. And um, like it and share the broadcast. All right? Like it and share. Be a blessing to somebody. Be a blessing to somebody by doing that. And um, put it on all your platforms and areas in which others. Because we are, we are, we are here alone today uh, on um, Facebook. But uh, we will spread it out. Okay, so please, 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 bless morning to you as well. Bless morning to you, OP. Bless morning to you. Um, it is my sincere prayer that um, you, you, um, um, let's see something here. I'm trying to, um, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying to get my technology to work. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about today? What does Jesus say about evangelism? What does Jesus say about evangelism? Did Jesus spoke about evangelism? And uh, what, 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 when we talk about evangelism, what, what, what is evangelism, by the way? What is evangelism, by the way? Evangelism is not it's it's as simple as spreading of the christian gospel to the public okay um preaching and having a personal witness of who jesus is to you you see that is evangelism that is basically what evangelism is and so um hold on one second for me let me see something here uh, let's see something i want to i want to share something with you let me see that oh okay all right so evangelism okay uh, i'm good evangelism evangelism is the spreading of the christian gospel okay um by the public by preaching i mean to the public by preaching and teaching uh and having or having a personal witness and advocating the message of Jesus Christ. That is what evangelism is all about. And so my question is, did Jesus spoke about evangelism? Did Jesus mention evangelism at all to his believers, his followers? Those today called Christians, did Jesus spoke to you about evangelism? Now we've seen the definition of evangelism, what evangelism is all about. So the question now is, did Jesus therefore tell you or spoke to you about evangelism? And I need to hear your comments. Please, I need to hear your comments. I need to hear your comments about that. Did Jesus speak to you about evangelism? Did Jesus mention 
about evangelism. I want to hear. I want to. I want to hear your comment. Well, let me, for the sake of time, because some of you will be will be letting me sit down here for hundred years. All right. Um, yes, Jesus spoke about evangelism. How do I know that? Because it's recorded in the Bible. Jesus spoke about evangelism, and because is in is recorded in the Bible. Because the Bible comprises of most of the things that Jesus spoke about. Most of the things. Because if, 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 if the Bible recorded everything Jesus did and said, we would probably wouldn't have the Old Testament. Because there won't be no room. Scripture says that too. And so, yes, did Jesus talk about, about, about evangelism? Absolutely he did. Absolutely. Jesus did talk about evangelism. Now let's look at where he said that. Come with me to the, the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 19th and the 20th verse. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 19th and the 20th verse. Beloved, uh, if you are a Christian and call yourself one, you must hear this and just as a reminder, just in case you have not been informed jesus spoke to you the follower of him about evangelism evangelizing spreading his gospel so if you are not doing it obviously you are not obeying him and i question if you really love him because he also said that that if you love me then keep my commandment and this is a command. He says, go. He didn't say, uh, he did not suggest, by the way. Jesus did not suggest. Jesus did not suggest to his followers. Just in case you feel okay that you want to talk to somebody about me, you can do that. No, he commanded. Jesus commanded. He says, go into all nations. Go. That's a command. He didn't suggest. So if you are if you was if you if you are saying you are a Christian and your Christianity is for Sundays alone, beloved, I don't know who's teaching you what and what what are you so excited to be a Christian all about if you are not telling the world about Jesus. It's about time you get it straight up, straight up, or forget about all these, you know, um, um, uh, amusement stuff that you know is going on on weekly basis once a week Jesus told his followers to go to the world or tell the world about him so come to Matthew the 28th chapter let me show you where he said that Look at the 19th and the 20th verse. And this is after Jesus has resurrected from the dead. And the 18th verse, he says that all power is given to him. All, both in heaven and on earth. Nothing left for the ones that you pray and spend time in talking about. All power. Now watch this now. Verse 19, he says, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them or teach them to observe all that I have taught you. And lo, I am with you always. Think about that. I am with you always when you have to go and tell people about me. I am with you. Don't be afraid. I am with you. Don't be shy. I am with you. Tell me. I am with you. Tell the world. I am with you. Always, he says. Always. Jesus didn't say sometimes. And he did not suggest. He gave a commandment. He gave a command. And he says, I am with you always. Uh, beloved, unless you don't believe him, unless you do not believe 
what Jesus says. He says, I am with you always. You see, if you are thinking that when everything is going all nice and dandy is when Christ, Jesus is with you, 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 you are receiving some wrong teachings and some wrong messages. Mm -hmm. Then you are receiving. I don't know who is teaching you what. But Jesus says, I am with you always. He never said that day nobody's going to throw a stone at you. And he never said when all is well and dandy. He says, I am with you always. So just get that, that straight up. And whatever circumstances you find yourself, just know that Jesus is with you. And that is why if it doesn't taste good, it, you are still going to come out and have a better taste in your mouth. He's still with you always, he says. Always. Underline that. Always. Jesus says, and I'm with you always. Even to the end of age. Get that revelation here. Even to the end of age. Are you listening? And so, we're talking today about what does Jesus say about evangelism. Jesus spoke about that. He, he spoke about evangelism. Evangelize. And we've seen the definition of evangelism simply, in its simply terms, by spreading of the Christian gospel to the, to the world. By spreading the Christian gospel to the world and this is what Jesus says this is what Jesus said now the aim of evangelism is to make disciples that is the aim is to make disciples as he says go and make disciples of all the nations all the nations I've been I've been I've been I've been advocating this uh, for some time now that believers I personally believe that the idea of the social media was for Christians was for believers followers of Christ Now that is what I believe Why because it's a platform That you can sit there at one place and be seen and heard in various countries of the world as I'm doing right now Mm-hmm yeah and so connecting that to what jesus says go to all the nations of the world how will somebody hear you if you they cannot if if you are sitting for example in the united states and talking and all you do is group uh, uh, you know same people on a particular day and just recycle the same you know different twist the message and, and for their likening and all that. But same people. But that's not what Jesus says. He says go to all the nations. But when you sit in one place. On a platform called a social media. And talk about Jesus. You will see and you'll be surprised. That people in different countries. May be hearing. And will be hearing the message. You will be spreading, you are spreading the gospel, you are evangelizing, as Jesus says, by using this platform. Because if you cannot travel to a place, another country where from where you are, how would they hear? And not many people are, are doing that, are going there either. So I believe that this platform of the social media was an idea of God for believers. Because this is where you can sit and chat with somebody in a different country. Mm -hmm. And so when Jesus says, go to all the nations of the world and tell people about me, how are you going to do that if not by the social media? If, if it's not by the platform God is set up for each and every one of you. Listen, nobody, everybody, every believer has a pulpit. Every believer has a pulpit. Don't leave that thing for the, you know, the John Doe sit, 
standing up there, you know, whooping and howling and um, just abusing your ears with shouts and making all that noise. No, you have a pulpit. God is giving you a pulpit. The very day you gave your life to Jesus, God gave you your own pulpit. And that is for you to spread the gospel, to witness. Jesus spoke about witnessing. He spoke about that. He says, make disciples who will in turn be incorporated into the body of he Christ through baptism. Say, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptize them. You see, so if you are not doing this, if you are saying, if you are not doing this, I really question how much you really love him as he said himself. If you love me, look at John chapter chapter 14, you see there. If you love me, then obey my command. If you love me, Jesus said that. If you love me, he said that, unless you don't believe him. But he said that. That if you love me, then keep my commands. You see, if you love me, then keep my commands. Jesus said that. Now, so the question is, are you doing it? Are you telling the world? As I speak now, telling the world, I, 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 I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Indian flag showing up on, on the comments section of this broadcast. But I'm sitting in the United States of America. And I'm seeing somebody in the, in the continent of Africa. And I'm sitting right here in the, in, in the United States of America. I see somebody in the nation of Canada. And I'm sitting right here in the United States. I see somebody in Jamaica. Do you see what I'm talking about here, believers, Christians? Do you see this? The social media is not for you to be posting your nice pictures. There's nothing wrong with that. But get the revelation here. It is for you to propagate the gospel. Oh, I don't like the social media. I don't like, oh, you don't like what? You see, you wrong teachings has made some of you think that, you know, what is considered the world, the world, in quotation, is not for you. Social media is the, is the world thing. Well, how therefore are you going to go into all the nations and talk about Jesus? If you, if you don't even have a passport to travel, much more have the air ticket. <laughs> How are you going to do that? I believe when you see Jesus, you're going to tell him, if Jesus asks you, did you, did you do what I, to I told you to do? You're going to, ask, you're going to tell Jesus, well, Jesus, I was not blessed. I didn't have money to buy. I didn't have my own private jet. And so I couldn't go and all that. But I gave you the social media. I gave you a platform. I gave you your own pulpit. Mm -hmm. I gave you your own pulpit to use. And tell the world about me. Uh, Jesus says, if you are shy of me before men, I will be shy of you before my father who is in heaven. Don't forget that he said that too. You shy? Well, I, I'm shy. I, I don't. I can't speak about. You know, I, I don't like to stand. I don't like public stuff. Really? If Jesus didn't go publicly, you would not have heard of him. That he came to save you from your your sins. Yeah, you would not have heard. And so, yeah, somebody has to do it. No wonder you have. You have. You have. You have. You know, delegated, I mean, I mean, delegated this assignment of yours to some people and they are seeing how foolish you are and then they use that to come back and milk financially, milk you out. 
in the name of tithes and offering. Because you have no idea. You don't want to do what Jesus says you should do. Oh boy, I'm going there today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell other people. This is, I mean, think about it. How easy, free of charge this is. And if you have to pay, boy, the time, I guess, I guess the time may be coming where you have to pay, you know, to talk about Jesus. Then you'll be willing to do that. Oh boy, where am I today? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is where I'm led to speak to you about today. That Jesus spoke about evangelism. Jesus spoke about evangelism. It, it's so funny to, to realize that Jesus didn't even tell, tell you to, to have a church. <laughs> oh yeah. Did he say that? Show it to me. Put up a building, a structure. Got everybody in there. You be the you be the maha of that enclave. Let everybody bow to you, and they will come go okay onto brave waters, work, and then come and bring you the fish on this particular day. Uh uh. We got it wrong from the beginning. We get it right now. We got it wrong from the beginning. But thanks be to God, we got it right. Power, power is given by the Spirit of God. Let me show you, let's look at uh, something interesting that I, I, I want to share with you in the book of Luke. Come to Luke chapter, Luke chapter 24, Luke chapter 24. I I came across that and I thought it was interesting. Look at Luke 24. See what Jesus was saying here. Luke chapter 24. Um, pick it up from verse 44 to uh, maybe 49. 44. Then Jesus said these things to them. Jesus said this. I love to say what Jesus says. Jesus says this. Look at Luke chapter 24 verse 44. Jesus said this. He said, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. Get that revelation here. So all that was said in the Old Testament and of the prophets of the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms by David and all was about Jesus. Mm -hmm. You see that? Okay. 45. And Jesus, he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. He opened their understanding with that, that they might understand the scriptures. Then he said to them again, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations. Get that revelation here. To all nations. What is the purpose of telling people about Jesus? This is the answer right here. That repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. If you want to know if Jesus spoke about evangelism, Yes, he did. And what's the purpose of it? Here you see it. And why? Here it is. Here it is. So if you are a believer, if you are a Christian, call yourself one, 
and you are not doing it, I wonder how obedient and 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 love do you have for Jesus? If you are not doing it, if you are not doing it, then how much? How, I mean, if you can love Jesus, boy, I wonder if you tell me you love me, I should believe that. If you can, what does that? What is that? It says, "How do you love God that you don't see?" If you hate your brother, <laughs> Woo, I tell you, some things are just, you know, let's just use, let's just use common sense here. You love what you don't see, but you hate what you see. That make no, that does not make any sense. Just common sense. I'm talking about common, using common sense here. Look at what Jesus said in John. I've been saying this in there, but thank you, Holy Spirit. I need to get there. I need to I need to get there and show you that. Look at John chapter 14. Put your hand here because I'm I'll be coming back to Luke 24. But look at John chapter 14. Sure. Look at John chapter 14. And look at the 15 verse. This is what Jesus was saying. This is words that came out of his mouth. If you love me, keep my commandment. Ah, well, he was speaking to the disciples, right? And one of them was called Philip. Are you a disciple? Are you a Christian? Jesus, this is what he was saying. This is what he said. If you love me, then keep my commandment. But he loved you and me enough to request of the Father to send us that authority and the power that was given to him so that we can make the we can make disciples of him. Look at Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Come with me to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. Look at that. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Look at this. Jesus saying that, oh, but <laughs> that, oh, watch this, boy, I'm speaking like the old people. Jesus said that, verse 8, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses, witnesses to me, starting from Jerusalem and in all, to all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. To the end of the world earth which comprises of all the nations of the earth that's what jesus says you see what jesus is saying you will receive power and the power listen when we talk about the holy spirit it is not a power for you to think that you can be shaking like a, a chicken with a head cut off Okay, and and just jigging and and and, uh, 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 and all that kind of foolishness, but you will receive a power to talk about Jesus, to witness about Jesus. That power is for you to witness about Jesus, to tell about Jesus, to evangelize about the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is what the whole essence of the Holy Spirit is. Mm -hmm. when you are hearing his voice don't harden your heart Jesus says if you love me then keep my commandment so ask yourself do you do I really love him because obviously you are if you're not doing what he has said then you question yourself if you really love him look at Luke chapter 24 Again, let me close with you. And he said, verse 47, verse, verse 46, Jesus said this, and thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for he Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins, of sins should be preached in his name. To all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem, 
as we see in the in Acts 1 8. And guess what? Look at the end, the tail end of it, verse 48. And you are witnesses of these things. You are witness. Talking about repentance and the remission of sin. If you believe Jesus has paid the price of your sin and position you as a righteous person through in the eyes of God, then you are to tell others the same. And that is what why Jesus spoke about evangelism. Jesus spoke about evangelism. Today you hear so many other things other than evangelism. Telling people about Jesus. You hear messages of emotions. What, what does that got to do with repentance? You hear about 12 steps to your financial stability. What does that got to do with the remission of sin? You hear about this, you hear about that. And the purposes and the main agenda for which Jesus even sent you as you claim you are a Christian, you are not even doing that. You are not even doing that. You are not even doing that. That is why it's become more like a business. More like a business. We got to do some different programs and somebody have to do this and somebody got to do that and this and that and that and that. Listen. Oh boy, let me just, let, let me. <laughs> uh, somebody said prosperity preaching. Well, listen. Just do the work of evangelism. Hmm? Apostle Paul was reminding those guys as well. Just do the work. I think it was Timothy he was telling that he said, do the work of evangelism. That is what Jesus. That is that is what Jesus said. That is what Jesus said. That is what he said. Nothing short of that. Do the work of evangelism. Tell the world about Jesus. That is what evangelism is all about. Preaching to the nations and telling people, spreading the gospel of Christ. That is what it is. That is what it all comes to. But a very important thing here also to show you this is that in Christ alone, in Christ alone can you find eternal life. In Christ alone. You want eternal life? It's only found in Christ Jesus alone. If you look at the third chapter of John and the 36th verse, Scripture says that if you receive and believe Jesus as the Son of God, a believer, of, of uh, you believe and receive him as the son you will have eternal life but if you do not you will not have eternal life you will not see eternal life but what you will have is that the wrath of God will continually abide with you think about that because God has made a way out of escape for eternal damnation for you by Christ Jesus. And so if you choose not to receive that, then obviously get that revelation here that as much as he hates the sin that man caused, he, his wrath against that sin which is labeled on you 
will continue to abide with you. That is why it's so important that you have to consider getting away from that by embracing and receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I hope you understand that. And so if you purpose in your heart right now to do that, I want to pray with you. Come on, let's, let's, let's pray together. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this teaching and message. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and my life. Take full residence of me. I embrace you as my Lord and Savior. From this day forward, I confess you with my mouth. I believe you in my heart. And I make this confession that God raised you from the dead. And now Lord Jesus, baptize me with your spirit that I may have the courage and the boldness to witness you, to tell people about you and of your goodness. I thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. Beloved, if you say that your short prayer, let me encourage you to do this. If you do not have a Bible, request one from us. Ask if just don't be don't be shy. We will send you a Bible free of charge. Okay? Go to our website address. The address is www.patrick p a t r i c k quino q u a i n o o global ministries dot org. Patrickquenu Global Ministries .org. I also want to encourage you to follow us on YouTube. Please like and share this broadcast. When you get on the, any of the platforms, we're on, on Twitter as well. Like it and share. Uh, let me see if I can read those um, um, addresses for you here. On Facebook, okay, I just gave that to you. On Facebook, you can get us there. The website is www. Okay, dot Patrickquenu Global Ministries. Org. On YouTube, just Patrickquenu Ministries. Org. Okay, or Patrickquenu Ministries, and um, you should be you should and on our Twitter, Twitter is at PQ Ministries One. PQ Ministries One. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way, you can get notification and all that. Join us on YouTube as well, PQ Ministries 1, and um, share this ministry to the world. We're doing exactly what Jesus says we should do. Speaking to the world. Witnessing of him to the world. That's what he says we should do. Don't be afraid to do that. The boldness and the courage is by his spirit. Receive that. And be able to do it without any reservation. I hope you are encouraged, and I hope I we you have been strengthened by this broadcast today. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Until then, share the word, share this ministry, share Jesus. And as always, I tell you this: you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God, and in all thy getting, get understanding. And I'll see you soon. Have a blessed one.